In a previous video, I have shown you how to construct a transformer model in PSPICE. Basically, there is a transformer model in PSPICE, but the problem is using it is difficult. So, I have shown you guys that how to use the transformer. See that there is the various values. In a previous video, I have calculated these things whereas I have chosen the transformer ratio primary to secondary to be 23.21 for a particular calculation so today I am going to use this and construct a DC power supply using PSPICE so I am going to consider some practical diodes and zener diode but the Zenodad in the PSPICE here is not a practical one. I'll be using the breakout model. So I'm going to do this one today. The DC power supply. See that basically a DC power supply has these components. So there is the input voltage. Then we step uh, use a transformer, power transformer to step down the voltage and then we rectify it. So we get this pulsated DC then filter it with a capacitor then we get something like this and finally we use voltage regulator to get a more or less a constant voltage at the output then we connect the load so this is the process of uh, DC power supply how it works now I have already designed an example for this so we need to design a full wave rectifier to meet this specification actually i'm going to design this thing a dc power supply which can provide 9 volt dc and 100 milliampere when the input line is 220 volt rms and 50 vo uh, 50 hertz so in order to do that i will divide this into two portion one is i will uh, just uh, design it till the filter part and then in the second example I will do the regulator so here is the filter solution from this specification I have calculated the load resistance and the various parameters of the transformer see that n1 by n2 is 23.21 where the uh, I have taken the ripple voltage to be 0.6 that is 5% of the output voltage and the capacitor I found is 2000 microfarad okay so these are the various values for the full wave rectifier so i'm going to use the full wave rectifier today so let's do the power transformer the drag rectifier and the filter using these parameters exactly so i have the transformer already with me and the input voltage is around one minute okay i need 220 volt rms right so for 220 volt i need to multiply it with 1.41 1.414 most probably so let me see two root one uh, 1.4142 times 220 is 311.13 roughly 311.13 so 311.13 because this is the amplitude okay the frequency is same here the frequency is 50 hertz okay that's okay now in the previous example you have seen that I have taken the value of L1 and L2 it is 2700 Henry and it is 5 Henry you can see that in a previous example it is chosen as uh, 23 point to maintain the 23.31 turns ratio as in my solution here 23.21 okay now for the later part I'm going to do is so let's make the rectifier now so I'm just deleting these portions first so I'll be using a practical much uh, more a practical diode that is uh, D1N4002 okay so there it is now let's just place these diodes okay okay right here and maybe here okay so the four diodes now let's just wire them up okay. 
okay so the rectifier you can see that the rectifier is almost done the rectifier is almost done you can see this this is uh, 4002 a practical diode now the rectifier part is done now i have to take a filter capacitor of 2000 microfarad so it's a very large capacitor so let's take a capacitor okay so before taking the capacitor i would like to actually see my various output voltage because you'll see that the output we'll see is quite different one so let's take a simple resistance first to check our output So I have chosen a resistance of so 100 ohm here for okay so let's say 100 ohm just to see the simulation result how it is and always remember uh, this is this R2 is for the purpose of simulation only in practical circuit you do not need to use this R2 so let's you take the value to be very large so practically or ideally it is very large resistance that means almost an uh, open circuit okay so but now let us put i want to see the voltage at this point and uh, the voltage i want to see at this point and uh, at this point okay so you'll see that it is a bit tricky now let's save this transient yes okay one second is good enough okay right so the dc will not produce anything because you know uh, this is ac so still okay let's simulate this thing you can see the values are zero here there is some negative uh, values because of this is the ac you're seeing so let's not just bother about it this is the wave shape you're seeing right now see that this is v1 okay v1 is this is the v1 so you can easily understand this is the input signal so this is the input signal which is actually very large you can see that you can see that the value is actually on the uh, 300 300 volts this is the input we are seeing but we have actually given 311.13 but the p spice simulation is showing around roughly around 300 volts so let me just do one thing uh, let me see you can choose your step size say for example if I choose it to be ceiling step size I'll say one millisecond whether the curve smoothens or not should take a little bit of time now now let's see to make the curve uh, much more smoother now you can see it is actually uh, we have now more values now it is much more a uh, smoother curve now it's m most probably 311 volts peak okay now let's go to my output waves that is uh, at two different outputs you can see one is the red one one is the green one so which one is which one let's try to find out uh, this one at the output of transformer v in tx4 most probably at this point is um, the red one okay so the red one is showing that the voltage is uh, pretty small you can see that as expected so let's talk about the red one so we are done with this uh, this one so let's delete this one for a moment now let's see see that the red one is uh, pretty good uh, what we actually expected because see that the voltage level is uh, above so you can actually measure that one too by uh, using this thing very interesting thing to see so just select this this one first the red one I want to see now if you trace along this you see the peak voltage is around 13.21 volt or 
4 volt 13.4 volt now what we expected is uh, 13.4 volt we have designed for 13.4 volt we are getting around that value right so you can see that 13.26 is uh, 27 13.27 is the highest so there is a little bit of discrepancy in the value now let's uh, talk about the green one is is at this resistance most probably okay let's see uh, what is the output we are getting so the green one is diode 3 okay it is showing diode 3 which is most probably this one is the diode 3 the output across this diode and the ground because the reference node it will be taking the ground I would like to say that the green one you're seeing right here let's let me delete the red one first just press just select the red one and just press delete now the green one now you see that there, there is a negative voltage it is not the correct one we that we want to see and it is look this is half wave rectification almost right uh, but we are seeing a full wave rectification so p spice is actually tricking us what it is doing is it is showing the output of this node with respect to ground but we want the voltage output that we want to see is between the resistance okay so this node and between this node most probably at that purpose what we're going to do is we want to okay now we want to see the output of two different these two different probes okay now let's see what happens okay this is as usual now let's simulate we can see the output two different probes you can see two different outputs now what we can do and you can see this is nothing uh, like what we want so in order to do that we want to this one okay or you can go at trace not the currents most probably uh, we can also skip the LESS so we have these things right here with us so D41 and D32 so D41 and D32 so let's see which one is which one D41 and D32 D41 is most probably this one and D32 is most probably this one so the D32 minus D41 it is D32 oh see that there is no D32 so you need actual alias alias so VD32 minus VD41 VD41 okay most probably this will do the job let's see we are pressing ok and just now for removing the clumsy part just delete this previous voltages now you are seeing some voltage which is very much a thing of let's see the see the peak voltage is around uh, again this is 2.5 volt this is 10 volt so we are guessing that this uh, this is at, at around 11 volt so let's check the voltage again the peak voltage is around you can say 11 point greater than 11.5 volt okay and the interesting part about this thing is see that oh, the value is above zero volt so you're getting actually this portion you're getting actually this portion without the filter now let's put a filter capacitor that is 2000 microfarad see that the value is 2000 microfarad let's put this one in our circuit the capacitance big capacitance that we have calculated then let's see what happens so now the value was 2000 micro okay so let's wire this one So don't fall for the trick of the p spice now let's simulate and we're hoping much more constant output let's see what happens now so again you can see that our simulation output is actually tricking with us so we again need to introduce the trace uh, remove the currents uh, most probably vd32 right vd32 minus vd3 v d41 vd41 so okay now remove this previous now let's see see that this is a entirely positive voltage 
and the ripple you're getting at here right so it's a dc voltage definitely a dc voltage you can see that this is above 10 volt around 11 volt or something let's see what's the voltage level is at so there is this uh, ripple voltage of the capacitor the uh, five percent ripple voltage of the capacitor now you can also check the peak value of the ripple voltage that is around 11.5 on an average you're uh, we are getting uh, 11.4 volt because if you average this ripple voltage that would be the average voltage 11.4 volt is the average voltage at this end now let's draw the rest of the part for our dc power supply now let's remove this resistance which were supposed to, uh, for this resistance we would have get 120 milliampere current now with that 120 milliampere current we have already designed it for 120 milliampere current now what i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce some circuits towards the right actually a regulator circuit uh, more precisely i'm going to uh, see that after filter there is this voltage regulator circuit so i'm going to just uh, draw the regulator circuit a series resistance a load and i need a capacitor uh, i need a uh, zener diode. I'm going to use this breakout zener diode. The characteristics of the breakout zener diode is actually uh, dependent on my equation of the circuit. It actually changes accordingly. It adapts very well. So I'm going to discuss this thing. Okay. So so this is my circuit. You can see that. So now for these uh, regulator purpose, this example. So now see that uh, 12 volt at the output and should deliver 120 milliampere. Uh, sorry, the input. The input is 12 volt. Uh, this is the now yes. Uh, this is the rectifier, right? So this is the rectifier. I'm going to use this rectifier output as an input purpose for the Zener circuit. Okay. So I need to produce 9 volt. 100 milliampere as output so i'm going to use that rectifier output as input so in order to do that i'm uh, i'm choosing 9 volt zener and i have calculated all the parameters for it uh, for 9 volt 100 milliampere the resistance becomes 90 ohm load resistance and the series resistance becomes 25 so let's uh, change those values series resistance this is series resistance is 25 and this becomes 90 so uh, okay now it will actually uh, this uh, zener diode will actually work as a 9 volt zener that is it at it is supposed to do uh, okay now let's simulate and we have seen this value here now let's simulate and let's check whether my value at this end that means at this output end is actually what okay what is i'm expecting so this is my uh, final regulator circuit you can see total su power supply now let's simulate this thing and hopefully hope that it is actually okay so again piecewise trying to uh, trick us uh, okay this is the two values most probably r61 minus r62 would be the case so remove the alias and currents r61 is there any r61 no so we need alias um, r61 r61 so minus r62 so most probably i have actually made this thing in the wrong order so just reverse this thing so change the expression so put a minus at the beginning and just make it plus so that would sh that should do it okay so now let's remove these two values to see our output so this is my output should be i have designed it for 9 volt let's see you can see the ripple still there is some ripple which is actually uh, not desired but okay we'll take it let's see my output now should be 9 volt i have designed it for 9 volt you can see that so my zener should actually give an output of 9 volt and my circuit should give 9 volt at 100 and 100 milliampere let's see whether it is doing the this or not so 
so the uh, average voltage is here somewhere so it is 8.91 close to 8.93 close to 9 volt actually not bad the peak is actually above slightly above 9 volt but the average voltage will will be getting the average voltage that is 8.9 so not bad and I need to see the current which was which is supposed to be 100 milliampere let's see what is the current value uh, in order to see current you need to use this current probe here so you need to actually uh, uh, put the probe in the in the diode terminal rather than the node okay so this is important so so see that this is the current now let's simulate now see that this is the output again we can see that uh, I don't need anything here so I'll just be needing this one right here the current I need to see so should be 100 milliampere let's see what is the value we designed it for 100 milliampere now what is the value here so the peak value is greater than 100 milliampere you can see that but the average we need the average one so average is slightly here you can see that average line so it is 99.220 milliampere so it is very close we were to design 9 volt 100 milliampere so it's basically 900 milliwatt now we are finding uh, 99.220 Two two milli, that is times the output voltage was not nine volt but eight point. So average is roughly about eight point nine four. Okay. So let's see what is the output rating we are getting. Eight point nine four times point point nine nine point two two. So eight eighty seven milliwatts so 13 milliwatts less that is showing most probably uh, due, to, uh, due to some parameters need to be tweaked so and there is also uh, the main portion is here you can see that for simulation purpose we actually introduced uh, resistance here which shouldn't be there in the practical scenario but for the simulation purpose you need to do this so this might have actually consumed some voltage there's a reason we are getting a uh, value that is a bit offset rather what we expected okay so this concludes my simulation thank you